When I woke up this morning, I discovered that I had hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. So first of all, thank you for subscribing to me. It means a lot. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of people, but if you imagine all of you in one room, that's quite a lot, I think. So I thought it would be fun to do one of those zero to 100 transformation videos. And yeah, this transformation only took a couple of hours, whereas the transformation from the beginning of my channel to 100 subscribers took nine months, but um, let's go. <laughs> I didn't know we were in the information society. I would pretty much say that this is me at my zero. I woke up an hour ago and I just had breakfast, <laughs> then I watched that friendship test between Lily Collins and Segafron. Oh my god. I haven't taken my allergy medicine yet and I haven't washed my hair for a couple of days. And I often do this thing where I remove my makeup at like 6 p.m. except for my brows and then I fall asleep before I remove my brows so I wake up with my brows looking like this. <laughs> so first things first, I need to take my allergy medicine. So here we go. I both take pills. This is like, it's not that many milligrams, but it helps. It keeps the allergies down. I also take, do you just call this a nose spray in English? I don't know, but I use that. Oh, that went right down my throat. <laughs> Tastes really bad. And last but not least, I Use some eye drops as well, two times a day. Oh, that was a lot. Oh. So yeah, that was step one. I'm going to remove the makeup lift on my eyebrows, wash my face and apply some moisturizer. And then I'm going to work out because I haven't done that in a couple of days. So, uh... So now we're getting to the makeup part. I'm gonna begin with some primer. And everything I use will be listed in the description. <coughs> oh no, I got that into my mouth. But yeah, everything I use will be listed in the description box. And this is the Real Techniques makeup sponge. Then a second primer to fill out my pores because they're quite large. What if I moved? Hold on. That's much better. Okay, and this primer both fills out the pores and mattifies the skin. And the way that my skin works is that it's both very dry, like everywhere essentially. And then throughout the day, it gets really oily, like here in the T-zone. So that's great. So uh, that's why I use this for the primer from NYX and I'm just going to push that into my skin as well. To really conceal my under eye bags I'm going to use this very very light and very full coverage concealer from Gosh. Oh my god. That's very that's a lot. Hopefully it helps when I blend out. See that's not too bad. You know what? I think we're good. I'm just going to jump to the next concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, which I really love, but there's really not any product in there. It's 4 grams, which is 0.14 ounces, which essentially is just like nothing. And I couldn't see that when I bought it, so that's lovely. I'm just going to put this like over my pores just to like hide them even more. But I don't really feel like using 
foundation. I feel like a lot of these 0 to 100 is like full glam, um, full face and makeup and crazy eyeshadow look. But I feel like 100 can also just be when you feel best. And honestly, a full face of makeup is not what I feel most comfortable in. Like, I don't feel as much like myself. My nose has been the worst lately. Like, as you saw in the video, I just exfoliated my skin and it's still just like dry and flaky skin on there and I don't get it. I hate it. I should probably cover that up. Don't pick your sits. That's a dumb idea. I really want to do a video of me not picking my skin for a month, but um, I keep messing up, so... Because I feel like that would really make a huge difference. Not that I wouldn't have any pimples at all, but it would be a lot better. And I know that, and it's dumb, but... Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to use that primer slash setting spray again and... Try to not get it in my mouth this time. And I'm also going to use the NYX setting spray. I think I'm just holding them a little bit too close to my face and that's why they're like Psh. But yeah, I like to do this before powder. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to set the concealer. And like try to mattify my forehead a little bit and just... A little bit on my nose because... Again, it gets really oily throughout the day, so if I don't set it, it's just going to end up looking possibly even worse, so... I accidentally did both of my eyebrows off camera. I intended to only do one, but um, I have quite a few brow videos on my channel, so if you want to see that, I'll like link some of them down below. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer, and this is the NYX Matte Body Bronzer in the shade Light. Because I'm super pale, so I'm just gonna do a little bit right here on my freckles. And I'm going to blend it out with this big fluffy brush. It's like from an e.l.f. brush set, but I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. But you know, just get your biggest fluffy brush. And then I'm gonna use my Milani Rose Powder Brush. I don't remember the shade, but again, it's going to be. In the description. I feel like my blush and my bronzer is like almost the same shade but not quite. But they complement each other. <laughs> but like they complement each other quite well I think. If you've ever been a waiter, I have. I'm not very good at it so I'm not anymore but Sometimes you could just like sense people talking about you in that way and it's just not nice. I never really liked him and I never really watched his videos but I mean now I definitely won't. I mean he apologized for hurting her but I feel like he didn't really <laughs> address the whole I can do it because I'm a celebrity thing. And to me that just like screamed toxic masculinity. That's not what this video was going to be about but like it's just been on my mind so what's next i'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with strawberry bon bon from the beauty bay eyn matte palette um and bare necessity yeah i'm not going to bother priming my eyes because i really just don't feel like that does this look i'm gonna go in with a little bit of bare necessity and nothing else to try to make up for that oh my god I put on, it's too much pink, just going to try to blend it out. I wanted to do this eyeshadow look because someone commented on my Ultimate Matte Palette review what makeup look I was wearing and I think I actually do have a tutorial on this. But essentially it's just the Instagram makeup that Kennedy Walsh, why can't I pronounce her last name, oh my god, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not sure if this just kind of makes me look a little bit sick because there's so little pink in there. Oh my god. 
You know what, I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and dip into nothing else, which is a shade very close to my skin tone. I'm going to, <laughs> I hope I don't fuck it up anymore, dip a little bit into Sweet Tooth and like focus that on my eyelids, not so much in the crease. Okay, maybe a little bit in the crease as well. I'm gonna take this small root blending brush again and give it a sweet tooth and nothing else. And put it under my eyes. To try to fix this, I'm going to take some sweet tooth and nothing else on my blush brush. Just to tie the look together so maybe it looks like I'm not sick. <laughs> it helped a little bit. I'm just going to blend it out. Now I just have to do some some kind of lashes or something. I'm just curling them. So I'm just going to try to only use this Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara which is very light. Like it doesn't add a lot of volume. If any actually it just makes them look longer. I didn't turn on audio recording. I don't know how I'm going to match that up. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, it looks okay. Now for the lips. I don't think I'm going to add any highlighter to my cheeks. Just because I don't feel like it's necessary. I'm just going to use this L'Oreal. Wow, the name's dropped off. But again, it's going to be in the description. So don't worry. Because this is a very nice pink shade that's like kind of close to my own lip color but it's just more pink and a little bit deeper. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to me and for watching my videos and for liking my videos and commenting on them. It helps me out a lot. Yeah I hope you enjoyed this makeup look that's to me I would say this is me when I look my best even though I don't have a full face of makeup on. Yeah that's this video. I hope to see you in my next one so bye! That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.